stopped. It was indeed an astonishing display of batting, batsmanship. These are the matches that the broadcasters live for. When have you last seen Virat Kohli wipe out, wipe out, out his tear after winning a game for the Indian team? I haven't seen from the starting of his career. So, the new ball bowlers did the job for Team India and the two inclusion, the inclusion of the two all-rounders, three all-rounders to be precise, made the difference for the Indian team. But this game, two all-rounders did the job for the Indian team, according to me. It was all Hardik Pandya with the ball, getting three wickets, three crucial wickets in a span of two overs. And of course, with his batting abilities, we all know what can he do. But again, at the MCG, as a big G to be precise, India were reeling at 31 for 4. And then he steadied the ship along with King Kohli, got Team India home in a tricky run chase, terrific run chase. And of course, R. Ashwin, who hit the winning runs, scored those crucial vital runs for Team India. But the previous delivery, his presence of mind to come and leave the ball outside leg stump was, I, I thought, was an unbelievable thing to do in the context of the game and pressure. Then those two shots are still in my eyes. 18.5, 18.6, 28 runs required of 8 balls. Harris Rao was a slow and bumper and Virat Kohli hits it over the bowler for a 6. Given the context, given the moment, given the crowd, given the batsman, was that the greatest ever cricket shot play in the history of the game. This is a debate for a new day. Nextly, India have some negatives, especially with the dead overs and the top order batsmen with the moving deliveries. But today is a day, today is a moment to celebrate King Kohli who has announced this world, he is one notch higher than a legend.